Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this presentation we will study about multiple effect distillation, MED, about multiple effect distillation with thermal vapor compression, MEDTVC, QND, how MED desalination works, what are the key components of an MED desalination plant. What is MED? Multiple effect distillation, MED, is a desalination process that utilizes multiple stages of evaporation and condensation to produce fresh water from seawater. What are the key components of an MED desalination plant? Key component are heat exchangers, evaporators, condensers, vacuum ejector brine disposal system. Heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are used to transfer heat from a heat source, such as steam or hot water, to the seawater water being desalinated. Evaporators. Evaporators are the primary components where evaporation occurs. Each evaporator chamber, known as an effect, operates at progressively lower pressure and temperature. Seawater is heated in these chambers, causing it to evaporate and produce vapor. Condensers. Condensers are used to condense the vapor produced in the evaporators back into liquid form. Heat released during condensation is typically used to heat the feed water in the subsequent effect improving overall energy efficiency. Vacuum ejector, vacuum ejector, also known as a steam ejector or a jet ejector, is a device used to create vacuum, approximate zero bar G in the evaporation camber. Brine disposal system, brine is the concentrated salt solution left behind after the desalination process. A brine disposal system is necessary to properly dispose of or manage the brine, ensuring minimal environmental impact. Working process, feed water intake, seawater is drawn into the desalination plant from a natural source. Pretreatment, before entering the MED system, the feed water undergoes pretreatment processes to remove suspended solids. First effect, evaporation. The pretreated feed water enters the first evaporation chamber, known as the first effect. The pressure in the first effect might be around 0.05 to 0.1 bar resulting in a boiling point of water between approximately 45 to 55 degrees Celsius, flash evaporation would occur at a temperature slightly below this range. Second effect, condensation. The vapor produced in the first effect is transferred to the second evaporation chamber, known as the second effect. The pressure in the second effect is typically lower than the first effect perhaps around 0.02 to 0.05 bar, resulting in a lower boiling point, approximately 35 to 45 degrees Celsius. Subsequent effects, the condensed liquid from the second effect, now at a higher temperature, is passed to subsequent effects, where the process of evaporation and condensation is repeated. Each effect operates at a progressively lower pressure and temperature, allowing for the efficient utilization of heat energy. The pressure continues to decrease, further reducing the boiling point of water. For example, the third effect might operate at around 0.01 to 0.02 bar with a boiling point 20 to 35 degrees. In multiple effect distillation, MED, desalination plants, where flash evaporation is a key process, the temperature at which it occurs will be lower than the boiling point of water at the corresponding pressure within each effect. 
As pressure decreases, the boiling point of water also decreases. Therefore, flash evaporation in MED plants typically happens at temperatures lower than 100 degrees Celsius. Distillation and collection, as the feed water progresses through multiple effects, it undergoes multiple cycles of evaporation and condensation, with each cycle producing progressively pure distillate, fresh water. Thank you for watching this video.